Hey there, minions of technology. Welcome to Legacy Studio Podcast. I think we're on episode number 26 or 27 now. I really should figure this out, but I've been making so many videos today alone because I've been trying out this little setup, having the camera set up here, having a little table here, switching the microphone over to this side so that I can use it in both aspects. I've been having way too much fun today, and I had no intention of making videos. I probably would have worn a different shirt, and I'm too much of a lazy bum because I'm too focused in the moment here to, to do that. But I want to talk to you about something uh, really cool that we have coming up for at least one video. We're going to be making an advertisement for a company that's sending a new microphone uh, that I will be making that advertisement for most likely. Unless something falls through, uh, they've been in contact with me for the past couple days uh, trying to make sure that they can get me their product so that I can literally make an advertisement. This is not going to be a review of that product. There could be a lot of cons about it or or pros, whatever the situation may be, but um, I am making their Amazon video that they will be utilizing as part of their advertising. So no matter what the case of the product, I'm going to be making the video on that product. And I want there to be a really nice quality looking setup. In the second breath, um, I will make a review on that product with my opinion after the fact, but for right now, my job is to be hired to make a video on that product, no matter what the quality of that product is at this point. Um, very excited about it. A couple bucks involved in that, which I'm thankful for. But one thing I thought about is I have a lot of really cool equipment here, and I don't want people's eyes to be taken from what could be the product I'm focusing on, you know, and whatever that may be. I want people to really pay attention to what I'm talking about. And one thing that I've seen a lot of people utilizing these days are this specific microphone. This is the SM7 Sure microphone. Now, this one is actually a vintage microphone. It probably goes um, 1980s, 1990s um, when it was uh, created, I think. Don't quote me on that. A really, really great microphone. I need to do more research on it so I know what I'm actually talking about. But I did a full restoration on this microphone and the brother that we had at our radio station. Got them all cleaned up. They were filthy, not working properly, missing a couple parts. And uh, I rebuilt them. And uh, I, in, in return, I actually got to bring it home and I use it uh, as my main microphone now, which I love. But it's also... A staple of a lot of videos and a lot of people recognize it and call it out and I don't want their attention to be taken from whatever product I'm trying to talk about because they see this microphone instead so for the sake of my clients I'm trying to think about what a good way is to go uh, and what I thought I would do is this. These are the Comica Boom XD uh, wireless microphones. They're really, really cool. I've reviewed them in the past. I did a really fun review where we were out in the woods and I tried testing it. Uh, it plugs into your computer or into your phone. I just did a video a couple days ago testing it with my new Samsung S20 Plus. Did not pan out very well. Uh, you can go check that out for yourself and find out why at a later date. But um, the but when it comes to being plugged into your computer, they do really, really well. They also have have a microphone built into the uh, top of them so you can hook this right onto your shirt and you're good to go. A cool little wind muff right there if you are using it in a windy environment on the go. Or, like I have right here, I have another Comica set up down here already turned on, plugged in, and hooked up here to my lapel. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is switch them here in my OBS. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to unmute, uh, unmute mine. And there we go. Now we've muted the Behringer. So now this microphone is the one working. Now I haven't checked the settings right now. It looks like it's not overloading, but at the same time, I need to be careful. But once again, now what this does, a lot of people expect to see that there. So it pulls attention away from me and away from what I'm doing, uh, what microphone I'm utilizing, and now focuses more attention on the product itself, which is definitely more important to me as I'm working with clientele, trying to make sure they're taken care of. I want really good audio. You can hear the quality of the audio as I'm talking here, but the, the goal on this certainly is to make sure that the product that I give to my clients, which is making either demonstration or reviews of their, of their products, is good. Now, when it comes to reviews, I'm very brutally honest about the items that I review. If you've seen my Panasonic video, you know that I'm pretty brutal. Um, but in the same breath, I want to make sure that when there's something really positive to mention, that people are focusing on that product. Now, do I intend to still use that microphone in the middle of my reviews? Absolutely. But when it comes to trying to really look professional, really look like I'm talking about something that I understand, and really look like we're in a setting 
that is meant to be very tech centric um, and and at the same time not trying to pull your attention away from the product. I thought utilizing a lapel microphone is a good way to go. And these Comica Boom XDs are really, really cool. Not only because of their size factor, I think that's impressive, but mainly, mainly strictly because it plugs directly into your computer. It has a Type-C connector. If you want to plug it into your phone, you can get a Type-C to Type-C extender uh, and plug it into the bottom of your phone, like you can see in the previous video that I did. But also, if you want, you can get a Type-C to USB, which is exactly what we're utilizing right now to plug it into my hub over there and have the feature of being able to use it anywhere. And also immediately send that audio directly into OBS to get the product that you're seeing here, which means I can use this as long as the battery's good, we're good. So there we go, just wanted to share that with you as we continue to move ahead on just trying to uh, clean up the space, try to make it work well and do something nifty with it. That is just one of the many things that I enjoy doing testing new theories, testing new products, trying to see about what I can do to better to better the quality of what we're creating because I'm really proud of what Legacy Studio is now and how far we have come. And it's because of you guys. Consider liking, subscribing, and you know, making sure to share the video if you know of anyone else who's interested in instant video production. No editing process necessary if you think you're good at talking, if you're a radio DJ, if you're a TV personality, and you just want to make videos fast. I can teach you everything I know to get you from point A to point B. You can literally hit record button once on on your computer, hit stop on the end of your video, and you can be done. And if you want transitions, if you want graphics, if you want anything in addition to that, well, it can all be done through the system that I utilize every single day, and I can show you some of the specifics on how that's done. Go and check out my previous videos. I have lots of information on that. But for now, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching our podcast, Legacy Studio Podcast, episode number... 26, 27, 29, I don't even know what it is now. But needless to say, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Bye.